There's the intake port. There's the exhaust port. See the valves in there? Or the exhaust valve at least. And then there's the bottom of the head. I'll be taking the lifters out, which you just pull right out, and then the second lifter. Got one rod bolt out. There's rod bolt number two. Alrighty guys, so me and my dad got the governor gear out, as you can see, this is it right here. Now the way I was doing it, I was trying to get this little C-clip off. I was trying to get that little C-clip off this rod right here, and that did not work out for me. So basically, this is how we did it. The rod that went right there like that, that held the governor in, basically we just hammered that rod out and the governor just came right out. That's the easiest way how I found how to do it. Alright guys, as you just saw, I tore this whole entire motor apart, but like I said in the intro of today's video, I don't actually have any footage of me putting this motor back together with any of the performance parts. But just for a little reference, this is actually a handsome 6.5 horsepower 196cc cone motor off of a Baja Heat fat tire mini bike. And it has a 68mm bore with a 54mm stroke. But it has a completely stock bottom end, stock cam, stock rod, stock flywheel as you can see, but it has had a full governor delete. And then I put a brand new Honda GX200 flat top high compression race piston in it. I put a key in 26mm round slide carburetor on it as you can see. As well as a P3 adapter slash intake manifold. But it also already has a set of 18 pound valve springs for a Honda GX200. That will also help me reach the 6500 RPM mark. I also put an 8 degree advanced timing key in this motor. And an Autolite AR3910X racing non-restrictive spark plug. Okay, now like I said in the intro of today's video, I did get a couple new parts in after I got the motor to the point that I did. And these are the couple new parts that I got in the mail afterwards. Right here, guys, I have some RK420 MXZ Premium Motocross Gold Race Chain. Now right here, I have a brand new throttle cable. This right here is the NGK aftermarket spark plug boot. Now I got this just because, well, you know, the old one is kind of crusty and I wanted to replace it with this new NGK one. And plus, the NGK one has to be better than factory. Now right here I have some NR Racing 1.0 Ratio GX200 Champion Rockers. And these aren't going to do anything for the lift of my cam or raise my RPM or anything, but these are going to help me get to that 6500 RPM range. And they're just going to tighten up the valve train a little bit, and obviously just more reliability than the stock ones, revving the higher RPMs. Now to be able to run those NR Racing GX200 Champion Rockers, you have to have a raised valve cover, so I got this billet valve cover kit from GoPowerSports.com.
explain it, there's more. I have to find all my dead burns and stuff. Oh crap. Is there a camera still recording?